A wallpaper group is a mathematical classification of a two-dimensional repetitive pattern, based on the symmetries in the pattern. Such patterns occur frequently in architecture and decorative art. There are 17 possible distinct groups. Wallpaper groups are two-dimensional symmetry groups. Intermediate in complexity between the simpler freeze groups and the three-dimensional crystallographic groups. Introduction Wallpaper groups categorize patterns by their symmetries. Subtle differences may place similar patterns in different groups, while patterns that are very different in style, color, scale or orientation may belong to the same group. Consider the following examples. Example A Cloth, Tahiti. Example B. Ornamental painting, Nineveh, Assyria. Example C. Painted porcelain, China. Examples A and B have the same wallpaper group. It is called P 4 mm in the IUC notation and asterisk 442 in the orbifold notation. Example C has a different wallpaper group called P 4 mg or 4 asterisk 2. The fact that A and B have the same wallpaper group means that they have the same symmetries, regardless of details of the designs. Whereas C has a different set of symmetries despite any superficial similarities. A complete list of all 17 possible wallpaper groups can be found below. Symmetries of patterns A symmetry of a pattern is, loosely speaking, a way of transforming the pattern so that it looks exactly the same after the transformation. For example, translational symmetry is present where the pattern can be translated some finite distance and appear unchanged. Think of shifting a set of vertical stripes horizontally by one stripe. The pattern is unchanged. Strictly speaking, a true symmetry only exists in patterns that repeat exactly and continue indefinitely. A set of only, say, five stripes does not have translational symmetry when shifted. The stripe on one end disappears, and a new stripe is added at the other end. In practice, however, classification is applied to finite patterns, and small imperfections may be ignored. Sometimes two categorizations are meaningful, one based on shapes alone and one also including colors. When colors are ignored there may be more symmetry. In black and white, there are also 17 wallpaper groups, e.g., a colored tiling is equivalent with one in black and white with the colors coded radially in a circularly symmetric barcode in the center of mass of each tile. The types of transformations that are relevant here are called Euclidean plane isometries. For example, if we shift example B one unit to the right, so that each square covers the square that was originally adjacent to it, then the resulting pattern is exactly the same as the pattern we started with. This type of symmetry is called a translation. Examples A and C are similar, except that the smallest possible shifts are in diagonal directions. If we turn example B clockwise by 90 degrees around the center of one of the squares, again we obtain exactly the same pattern. This is called a rotation. Examples A and C also have 90 degrees rotations, although it requires a little more ingenuity to find the correct center of rotation for C. We can also flip example B across a horizontal axis that runs across the middle of the image. This is called a reflection. Example B also has reflections across a vertical axis and across two diagonal axes. The same can be said for A. However, example C is different. It only has reflections in horizontal and vertical directions, not across diagonal axes. If we flip it across a diagonal line, we do not get the same pattern back. What we do get is the original pattern shifted across by a certain distance. This is part of the reason that the wallpaper group of A and B is different from the wallpaper group of C. History A proof that there were only 17 possible patterns was first carried out by Evgraf Fedorov in 1891 and then derived independently by George Pollier in 1924. 
the proof that the list of wallpaper groups was complete only came after the much harder case of space groups had been done. Formal definition in discussion. Mathematically, a wallpaper group or plane crystallographic group is a type of topologically discrete group of isometries of the Euclidean plane that contains two linearly independent translations. Two such isometry groups are of the same type if they are the same up to and affine transformation of the plane. Thus e.g., a translation of the plane does not affect the wallpaper group. The same applies for a change of angle between translation vectors, provided that it does not add or remove ever symmetry. Unlike in the three-dimensional case, we can equivalently restrict the affine transformations to those that preserve orientation. It follows from the Bieberbach theorem that all wallpaper groups are different even as abstract groups. 2D patterns with double translational symmetry can be categorized according to their symmetry group type. Isometries of the Euclidean plane Isometries of the Euclidean plane fall into four categories. Translations, denoted by TV, where V is a vector in R2. This has the effect of shifting the plane applying displacement vector V. Rotations, denoted by RC, theta, where C is a point in the plane, and theta is the angle of rotation. Reflections, or mirror isometries, denoted by FL, where L is a line in R2. This has the effect of reflecting the plane in the line L, called the reflection axis or the associated mirror. Glide reflections, denoted by GL, D, where L is a line in R2 and D is a distance. This is a combination of a reflection in the line L and a translation along L by a distance D. The independent translations condition the condition on linearly independent translations means that there exist linearly independent vectors V and W, such that the group contains both TV and TW. The purpose of this condition is to distinguish wallpaper groups from freeze groups which possess of translation but not two linearly independent ones, and from two-dimensional discrete point groups, which have no translations at all. In other words, wallpaper groups represent patterns that repeat themselves in two distinct directions, in contrast to freeze groups, which only repeat along a single axis. The discreteness condition The discreteness condition means that there is some positive real number epsilon, such that for every translation TV in the group, the vector V has length at least epsilon. The purpose of this condition is to ensure that the group has a compact fundamental domain, or in other words, a cell of non-zero, finite area which is repeated through the plane. Without this condition, we might have for example a group containing the translation Tx for every rational number x, which would not correspond to any reasonable wallpaper pattern. One important and non-trivial consequence of the discreteness condition in combination with the independent translations condition is that the group can only contain rotations of order 2. 3, 4, or 6, that is, every rotation in the group must be a rotation by 180 degrees, 120 degrees, 90 degrees, or 60 degrees. This fact is known as the crystallographic restriction theorem, and can be generalized to higher dimensional cases. Notations for wallpaper groups Crystallographic notation Crystallography has 230 space groups to distinguish, far more than the 17 wallpaper groups, but many of the symmetries in the groups are the same. Thus we can use a similar notation for both kinds of groups, that of Carl Hermann and Charles Victor Mogan. An example of a full wallpaper name in Hermann Mogan style is P31 meters, with four letters or digits. More usual is a shortened name like C2 millimeters or PG. For wallpaper groups, the full notation begins with either P or C. For a primitive cell or a face-centered cell, these are explained below. This is followed by a digit, N, indicating the highest order of rotational symmetry. One-fold, two-fold, three-fold, four-fold, or six-fold. 
The next two symbols indicate symmetries relative to one translation axis of the pattern, referred to as the main one. If there is a mirror perpendicular to a translation axis we choose that axis as the main one. The symbols are either MG or 1 for mirror, glide reflection, or none. The axis of the mirror or glide reflection is perpendicular to the main axis for the first letter, and either parallel or tilted 180 degrees, and for the second letter. Many groups include other symmetries implied by the given ones. The short notation drops digits or an M that can be deduced so long as that leaves no confusion with another group. A primitive cell is a minimal region repeated by lattice translations. All but two wallpaper symmetry groups are described with respect to primitive cell axes, a coordinate basis using the translation vectors of the lattice. In the remaining two cases symmetry description is with respect to centered cells that are larger than the primitive cell, and hence have internal repetition. The directions of their size is different from those of the translation vectors spanning a primitive cell. Herman Mogan notation for crystal space groups uses additional cell types. Examples P2, primitive cell, two-fold rotation symmetry, no mirrors or glide reflections. P4GM, primitive cell, four-fold rotation, glide reflection perpendicular to main axis, mirror axis at 45 degrees, C2 millimeters. Centered cell, two-fold rotation, mirror axis both perpendicular and parallel to main axis, P31 meters. Primitive cell, three-fold rotation, mirror axis at 60 degrees. Here are all the names that differ in short and full notation. The remaining names are P1, P3, P3M1, P31 meters, P4, and P6. Orbifold notation Orbifold notation for wallpaper groups, advocated by John Horton Conway, is based not on crystallography, but on topology. We fold the infinite periodic tiling of the plane into its essence, an orbifold, then describe that with a few symbols. A digit, n, indicates a center of n-fold rotation corresponding to a cone point on the orbifold. By the crystallographic restriction theorem, n must be 2, 3, 4, or 6. An asterisk, asterisk, indicates a mirror symmetry corresponding to a boundary of the orbifold. It interacts with the digits as follows. Digits before asterisk denote centers of pure rotation. Digits after asterisk denote centers of rotation with mirrors through them, corresponding to corners on the boundary of the orbifold. Across times occurs when a glide reflection is present and indicates a cross gap on the orbifold. Pure mirrors combine with lattice translation to produce glides, but those are already accounted for, so we do not notate them. The no symmetry symbol O stands alone and indicates we have only lattice translations with no other symmetry. The orbifold with this symbol is a torus. In general, the symbol O denotes a handle on the orbifold. Consider the group denoted in crystallographic notation by C2 mm. In Conway's notation, this will be 2 asterisk 22. The 2 before the asterisk says we have a two-fold rotation center with no mirror through it. The asterisk itself says we have a mirror. The first 2 after the asterisk says we have a two-fold rotation center on a mirror. The final 2 says we have an independent second two-fold rotation center on a mirror, one that is not a duplicate of the first one under symmetries. The group denoted by P2GG will be 22 times. We have two pure two-fold rotation centers and a glide reflection axis. Contrast this with P2 mg, Conway 22 asterisk, where crystallographic notation mentions a glide, but one that is implicit in the other symmetries of the orbifold. Coxeter's bracket notation is also included, based on reflectional Coxeter groups, and modified with plus superscripts accounting for rotations, improper rotations and translations. Why there are exactly 17 groups an orbifold can be viewed as a polygon with face, edges, and vertices. 
which can be unfolded to form a possibly infinite set of polygons which tile either the sphere, the plane or the hyperbolic plane. When it tiles the plane it will give a wallpaper group and when it tiles the spheral hyperbolic plane it gives either a spherical symmetry group or hyperbolic symmetry group. The type of space the polygons tile can be found by calculating the Euler characteristic, chi equals v minus e plus f, where v is the number of corners, e is the number of edges and f is the number of faces. If the Euler characteristic is positive then the orbifold has an elliptic structure, if it is zero then it has a parabolic structure, i.e., a wallpaper group, and if it is negative it will have a hyperbolic structure. When the full set of possible orbifolds is enumerated it is found that only 17 have Euler characteristic zero. When an orbifold replicates by symmetry to fill the plane, its features create a structure of vertices, edges, and polygon faces, which must be consistent with the Euler characteristic. Reversing the process, we can assign numbers to the features of the orbifold, but fractions, rather than whole numbers because the orbifold itself is a quotient of the full surface by the symmetry group. The orbifold Euler characteristic is a quotient of the surface Euler characteristic by the order of the symmetry group. The orbifold Euler characteristic is 2 minus the sum of the feature values, assigned as follows. A digit n before a asterisk counts as n. A digit n after a asterisk counts as 2n. Both asterisk and times count as 1. The no symmetry degree counts as 2. For a wallpaper group, the sum for the characteristic must be 0. Thus the feature sum must be 2. Examples 632. 5 sixths plus 2 thirds plus 1 half equals 2. 3 asterisk 3. 2 thirds plus 1 plus 1 third equals 2. 4 asterisk 2. 3 quarters plus 1 plus 1 quarter equals 2. 22 times. 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 equals 2. Now enumeration of all wallpaper groups becomes a matter of arithmetic, of listing all feature strings with values summing to 2. Feature strings with other sums are not nonsense, they imply non-planar tilings, not discussed here. Guide to recognizing wallpaper groups. To work out which wallpaper group corresponds to a given design, one may use the following table. See also this overview with diagrams.